after a long day of canning and cleaning up the kitchen, we decided to put the uh, top boneless sirloin steak. There's about two pounds left after uh, canning six quarts. So we've decided to put it in the crock pot and slow cook it. Not exactly sure what I'm doing tomorrow with it, but one thing I am putting in it is uh, savory steakhouse seasoning by Weber. So I'm gonna season some of it with it. And I'll bring you back after I season the second layer. Oh, my camera's not wanting to cut off. Okay, after a low day of canning, we've decided to put the rest of the top sirloin boneless steak in the crock pot. I started out seasoning the top layer and I'm using Weber's Savory Steakhouse Seasoning. And I'll be back in a second because I'm gonna season the bottom layer. I've uh, seasoned the top and bottom layer of the top sirloin steak, and I'm gonna lay me some sliced onion in the crock pot, right on top of the steak. And for now, since I don't know exactly what I'm gonna do with it after it's cooked, I'm gonna turn it on low and I'm gonna come back to it and see if I might need a little, add a little liquid. Hopefully like in the uh, pressure cooking process, it'll have its own juices and I won't need to add any liquid. So I'll bring you back if I add any more spices or I'll bring you back in the morning when we check it. And I'll talk to you in the morning. I thought I'd check in on my top sirloin before I go to bed and I was smelling it and I wish you could smell it this steak seasoning and onions and this smells so good still debating on exactly how to do it tomorrow but I promise good or bad I'll show you what I did and I'll see you in the morning close this back up as I promised, I'm gonna show you what I'm gonna do with this top sirloin steak. It's later in the evening. I'm just gonna make a quick meal. I won't lie, I've already been in it. It is so good. I can actually taste it. I don't have much in taste buds since I had a brain hemorrhage, but boy, this woke my taste buds up. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna try to get my camera on the tripod so I don't have to hold it. And I'm going to put two cups of shredded top sirloin in a measuring cup. And I'll tell you why when I get back. Finally got a camera that's it's kind of at the right angle. I still have some Kraft Sweet Honey barbecue sauce that I want to use up. So like I said, this is going to be a quick meal. So while I've got coffee making, because if I do the coffee and microwave at the same time, my breaker will blow, kick. I'm gonna put it in my measuring cup. I'm not exactly sure. I'm just gonna go ahead and use the rest of this bottle. Turn it on in. Be right back. I'm back. Okay, so I have, it says about a cup of barbecue sauce. And as soon as my coffee gets through making, I'm gonna put this in the microwave for about a minute, minute and a half, maybe two to heat up because since my top sirloin steak has already been done in the crock pot, 
I don't want to put it in any longer than just to heat it back up. I don't want it to get tough. So coffee's about done. I'm gonna get me a paper towel here to put over my little cup. My microwave's already on a minute and 15 seconds, so I'm just gonna start it like that and see what happens. I have a little butter in this cup because I want to make some garlic toast out of Texas toast and I need to melt it down since it wasn't room temp. Gonna put some roasted garlic and herb on my Texas toast. This stuff is so delicious. Uh, as soon as my daughter tried it, she had to go out and buy some. And here's my Texas toast. I actually got it at Walmart the other day. And I need to use it up. At least I think it was Walmart. Might have, no, it might have been you go. I forget everything I do pretty much. I can remember things from way back that asked me something five minutes ago and I've already forgot. I'm gonna get out four slices. My grandson won't eat this yet. He's getting a lot better with stuff. He loves anything barbecue chicken, but he's already gotten hungry, so we fixed him hot dogs already, or I did. So my microwave stopped. And while I bring the cut back over to check on it, I'm going to throw my butter in here. Seems like it's going to be plenty hot enough. I'm just going to put my butter on for 20 seconds. And, yes, it's very hot. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to take as much of the top sirloin as this jar will hold. And I'm breaking it up as I do it. And the onions, because the onions will give it some really good flavor. But I'm just dropping top sirloin down in the barbecue sauce. And this actually is going to be for today and tomorrow because I've got a, a meal planned for the rest of the barbecue tomorrow. My husband came in here and looked in the crock pot. He said, ooh, what is that? I said, just wait till I fix it. It will be good. a little bit more and all I'm gonna do is put this back in the microwave for about a minute because like I said I don't want my meat to get tough this is what I'm putting back in Use my paper towel, so now I gotta get another one. I cover it and put it on for a minute. And while that's doing its thing, I'm gonna put butter on our toast. I like to be able to spread it on. I really don't like it when it's real liquidy. Here's a little bit that's softened up. My, 
My piece may just have one side. I may not have done enough butter, but that's all right. And I'm gonna throw on some of this roasted garlic and herbs. I need to redo the lid. Just got little holes in it. Gotta put enough on it to make it taste good, don't we? Especially me. It seems like I'm a lot more on than I really am. I'll show you when I'm done. Hi, Mr. Eli. Was your feet good? Yeah. Not sure where I was at. Eli came in and for some reason my camera just stopped. But anyway, I have my toast ready to put into toast and I'll bring you back in a second. While I'm waiting on the toast, my husband loves pork and beans with just about anything. So today he's having a barbecue sandwich on uh, garlic and herb, Texas toast, and chips. Real simple meal. Sometimes I, even on this particular can opener, I don't get it right. I don't know if it's the cans now or if it's just me. Let's see if it did at that time. It did. And I'll put his pork and beans in a jar. I mean, in a jar. In a bowl. That way it won't be soggy and it's bread up. Got his pork and beans. Here's my barbecue sirloin. Just waiting on the toast and we'll finish this plate. The toast turned out beautifully. I hope you can see it. And I'm gonna put his barbecue on it. You could add onions, coleslaw, tomatoes, lettuce, anything you want on these sandwiches. But tonight we're just having barbecue. Sirloin on it. And like I said, here's his Pork and beans, and we're having chips tonight. Very easy, simple meal. Rinse off this spoon to give them. It had my butter on it, and might as well use it. Get enough dishes as it is. So, I'm going to take this in there to him. He's in his music room doing who knows what. So, I'm going to take this to him, and I'm going to let him sample the sandwich and see what he thinks about it. Okay, honey. Hey. You going to tell everybody about my sandwich today? Uh, let me try it out. Yeah, you're going to be brutally the, honest. The experiment that you did. <laughs> yeah, you're going to be okay. brutally honest. Well, yeah, just tell you like it is. Okay. Like, like I always do. How long you been eating pork and beans? Far back as I can remember. All your life? Yeah, pretty much. Pretty much. You yeah. never get tired of them, do you? No, I love pork and beans with, with sandwiches and stuff. Okay. And take chips. Okay. Try your sandwich. All right. Here goes. <laughs> He's my true taste tester. He has taste buds.
good. Got good flavor. Is it got good flavor? Would you eat it again? Oh, yeah. Huh? Yeah, I'm going to eat the rest of it. Let's see your face, see if you are telling the truth or lying. <laughs> One or two thumbs up. One thumb up. I'll let you know about this and then I'm done, okay? Okay. <laughs> Love you. Love you. Bye. Bye. Well, you got it from the horse's mouth. He enjoyed it. What I'm doing for mine, because we all eat a little bit different around here, but if I do quick meals, it won't matter. I'm peeling the cucumber that came out of my sister's garden. You're going to laugh at my cucumbers when I take you out there. My mom said, girl, you should have took them off a long time ago. So, uh-oh. They'll either be eight. Or I'm going to do what I seen on Bev's show last night. And I'm going to make some vegetable broth. And I'm going to stick them in there. So what I'm doing. The seeds don't really bother me. So I'm just cutting mine in strips. Just easier to pick up while I'm eating. Or use my fork. Which I'm going to do because. I'm not having chips and pork and beans with mine. I love these chopped salad mixes. I'm about the only one in the house that eats salad at home. Kenny will eat it when we go out. But I got the sunflower bacon crunch. And of course, the bacon and the crunch will probably come. I'll show you. It comes in this little pack. A lot of times, I'm not in the mood for all that when I have a sandwich. So I save these. And I can use them in something else. But this has a dressing to it. And even though I love my ranch, definitely love my blue cheese, I will eat the dressing that comes with this. And I just get like a handful of salad. This salad in the big bag usually makes me anywhere from four to six salads, depending on how much I'm going to eat at the time. Now, just a little bit of dressing. That's all I need. And now for the best part. And you can see it's a good healthy portion of meat that I'm putting on my bread. One thing I forgot on Kenny's, I was actually gonna put garlic salt on the toast. And I forgot. Now, I just find my garlic salt. Be back, cause I want garlic salt.